Hi, I'm Jim Green. I'm the director of the Planetary Science Division at NASA headquarters. And it's within that division that the Near Earth Object Program operates and has been doing a fabulous job for about 20 years. I'm sorry to say that the activities in Washington, D.C. that are going on right now has really kept me from coming to the Planetary Defense Conference. But I know you'll enjoy it. In looking over the program, there's a spectacular array of fabulous talks. Of course, the recent events of DA-14 close by passage of the Earth and the Chelyabinsk meteorite has really caused worldwide attention uh, to the study of near-Earth objects and, of course, potentially hazardous objects. I want to take a minute to remind us all where we have come from. Sixty years ago, planetary scientists firmly believed that the craters on the moon were of volcanic origin. It really took the pioneering effort of Eugene Shoemaker, who studied the Behringer Crater, to confirm that the crater was caused by an impact between 20 and 50,000 years ago. Now I know uh, later in the week that you'll be able to visit Behringer Crater. I wish I was there to see it. I haven't seen it. It is a fabulous opportunity to really take a up close and personal look at how damaging some of these events can be. Now the Behringer Crater and Shoemaker's uh, major uh, discovery in that area has really allowed scientists then to begin to reinterpret the moon craters as impacts. Now we know we really owe a lot to the moon and it's because of that we see that the violent history of the moon was the early violent history of the earth. And in fact in the 1980s the Alvarez Alvarez is a son and father, of course, published a very seminal paper in science titled uh, Extraterrestrial Cause for the Cretaceous Tertiary Extinction. In that seminal paper, the iridium spike, of course, at the KT boundary really spelled the doom for the dinosaurs. We have really come a long way. Just recently, I went to visit my four-year-old grandson. He can uniquely identify over 50 dinosaurs by name. I had the chance to sit down in his room full of dinosaurs, and as we sat on the floor, I gave him my gift of a flashlight. He was so excited, he ran over and turned off the lights, turned on the flashlight, and shone it on the ceiling. He then moved it along the ceiling and then quickly down along the wall and onto the floor and said, BAM! That's what killed the dinosaurs. I was shocked, but pleasantly so, as you can imagine, that children even today understand the fundamental principle of how these events have caused the extinction of perhaps more than one time of many species on this planet. As we went into the 80s and 90s, and early 90s, we only knew about a few near-Earth objects. And by 1998, with Congress's push to then start having a more dedicated study and a more systematic look at our near-Earth environment, in other words, looking for the large one kilometer and greater NEOs, it wasn't until then that we really got started in this program. And then and again, Congress in 2005 said, get down to 140 meters and greater. Now, of course, our NEO studies, as we observe the sky, we see all sizes. We're motivated, I think, by the events of the past to continue this effort. This particular program must be one that's methodical and ongoing. We now know today well over 9,000 NEOs, and a significant number of them are potentially hazardous. Now, I am really delighted to see that this effort to identify NEOs and potentially hazardous objects has not only garnered international attention, but that the international community, all your efforts, are really moving towards helping this world and this planet identify these objects. This international effort is absolutely critical for us. And I know it will continue. 
It is one of those things that I believe helps unite this planet as one species. It really says to everyone, this species is in it for the long haul. We are not going to be the dinosaurs. Well, once again, I am so sorry I can't attend the conference. I know you'll have a tremendous time, and I wish I was there. So good luck, and thank you very much.